disappointing. Yeah, released and uh, you see a pretty hard to talk. Trying to find some space. Disappointing here. Good back and now you get a chance. Oh, once again it's a pretty hard to talk with a chance. And they have made it too. And who is that? It is the ATO Slim. The new ADBS player who just joined a crowd to both has scored what will be described as a spectacular goal there. Ha. And you would always get this man telling you that he's come to stay with a crowd to folk. It all started here, poorly cleared by Capsule Club, but look at this one, the young man just hit it right! So I'm here at the Accra Hearts of Oak Hotel just to talk to a few of the players as we look forward to the all-important game against WAC in the CAF Champions League. They've been doing very well, they've been training so hard, you'll see some of the training videos on your screen. And it's time to just say hello to the team and just find out how they're doing. So I have joining me Emmanuel Mete and uh, Freya Bani. I'm going to do the interview with the two of them sitting down, just relaxed like this, uh, so that when they're done, they can go and you know, get the rest that they need before the game. Emmanuel, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good by God's grace. Everything is fine? Perfect. Bani, how are you doing? Yes, I'm good. Everything is good? Yes. Yeah. How, how, let, let me let me just find out from you, uh, Emmanuel. Uh, how has it gone so far? I mean, in terms of being in the competition for the first time and seeing the way things have gone. So far, I think it's it's been good. With our first game against Kamsa, we were able to overcome them by winning two goals to know, and we are progressing. Now we we have a much tougher opposition and work. But I think it's not too much of a hurdle to cross. We are going to do our best considering the training sections we've had and with our technical team. I think everything is going the right way for us come Sunday. We are going to deliver. Yeah. Uh, Bunny, you had, a, you had a fantastic season. Yeah? For you, the two of you had, you had a great season in the Ghana Premier League and, you know, of course, in the FA Cup. Have you, have you forgotten all of that and, and your mind is straight on, on the job? No, it's all on the job. Because what I did to gain that name last season, I think I need to do more. Because to have such a name, it's very easy, but to maintain it, it isn't easy. So I need to work extra and then maintain it or have more than what I had last season. How did you see the first game? Uh, the first Champions League game, you know, comes out? Did you see that? Well, it was tough, but not too tough. It was pass. God's grace, we were able to win and then uh, progress. So we are looking up for this game against work. I think that would be, as my brother said, a tougher game. And then we have to be for them. Good. Uh, Imam, tell me, uh, you've had quite a number of players joining you Salim, uh, Abu, Befi, plenty of players, plenty Suraj and Co. joining you. How's the camp like? Yeah, this is one big family, the Phobian family. and. Any player that joins, we welcome that player with love. We, we, we show them the norms, the do's and don'ts in camp, so it's easy for them to quickly settle in. And they are quality players who are going to add up to beef up the squad for the coming season. They are equally good players, and with their output on the field, we saw what Salim did when he came on against Kamsa. I believe that is the little we've seen about Salim. as a top quality player. We have the likes of Ushua and um, 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 others joining us and I believe they are a great addition to the squad so with this current crop of players I think once we keep our cool and our calm and we listen to our technical team we have places to go. Places to go. How has the camp been? I've, I've been around one or two training sessions. How, how is it feeling with all the new guys in there? Yeah, as you, you can see because we have been with us a couple of days our training guys. You can see they are working with our technical men. Everything will be the morale and everything is high, so we are progressing. Well, I'm sure you've heard a lot about uh, WAC. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, but the kind of record that they have and everything. Yeah, 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 we do. We know they've been consistent in the CAF Champions yes, League. Yeah. So we, we, we are going out there with all guns blazing. 
yeah, we know they have, we've been out of the competition for God knows how long. Yeah. For years now, we are back. And we want to prove a point, not just to work, but the whole of Africa, that we, just, we, didn't, we didn't make the, 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 um, the progression by fluke. Yeah. But then by, but by hard work on the field, so we are going to put everything together, brains, mind, bodies and soul together to face them come Sunday. You know, against Kamsa, um, there were no fans in the stadium. So it was like an empty stadium. And I don't know how that felt with no fans in, in, in the stadium for you when you guys were, were on the pitch. Did you feel the absence of the fans so much? Somewhere I would say yes. Somewhere I would say no. Where I would say yes is you see our fans, whenever they are with us, they cheer that up and then the morale and everything comes up and then Somehow say no, cause like you just focus. The job is yeah, the job. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the field of play that would determine. Yeah, so that would show who is going to carry the day. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure you hear the news that uh, CAF has allowed 2,000 fans yeah. into the stadium. What's your reaction to that? I'm so happy with that news, and I believe our fans are going to be the 12th person on the field come Sunday. Because with them on the field. We know it's a huge factor, it's a motivational factor for us. We will miss them in the game against Kamsa. Now we are going to have about 2,000 fans in the stadium. And I believe they are coming up there to cheer us up. And I believe their presence on the field that day is going to be another motivation for us to give them the much deserved win we need on Sunday. Right. Uh, Bania, there have been some friendly games. I think the last friendly game scored two goals. <laughs> You're in the groove. How, how, how have those friendly games felt? It's all about preparing to face work. Yeah. Just it's just a normal game. Even playing with work. Money, are you are you are naturally a, a modest guy. You don't like to you don't like to say a lot about yourself, is it? It's, it's not a thing. Eh? You like to use the pitch to do the talking, yes. basically. Yes. But you scored two goals, and and you have been looking very good in the friendlies. It's all about the hard work. So you're ready to put in the hard work and it's going to work sure, out definitely. Sure. Sure. Since I've taken over my profession, I need to always you show it on the field of play yeah. for people to see that that's what I'm capable of doing. Of doing. Yes. Net the friendlies? Yeah, I've had quite some decent games. And I believe they are friendly matches. If you compare the friendly match and the Champions League, there's a huge <laughs> difference. Huge gap, yeah. There's, sure. there's, so with our training sections, we've had I believe we are, we, are, we are well prepared for the game come Sunday. It's too different. This is a friendly game and this is the competition itself. So we know it's going to be all different. So we have the um, 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 mentality and the psyche all different to go into the game on Sunday. Yeah, and, and you know, um, the fans, just on the fans bit again, that uh, quite a number of the fans are expectant and we are hoping that Accra has a vote will get the job done. I mean, today I had a lot of them asking me, oh, where are the tickets? I want to get my tickets, I want to buy my tickets, I want to be there on Sunday. What would you tell the fans? I mean, what should they expect on, on Sunday? The reason why they are asking of tickets and stuff is they've missed us. And we also have missed them. They've missed us, seen us on the field of play. And we also have missed them in the stands, cheering us up. So what I would tell them that they should keep on playing and support us. And they should come in numbers on Sunday. And I think we are not going to be supporting them. We make them proud of them. Yeah. What are you telling the fans? Yeah, they should troop to the stadium in their numbers. They did it for us in the just ended season, in the league matches. And we know their presence are going to be felt. We miss them. They are, they are coming in their numbers. So we are, we, are, we, are, we are assuring them we are going to do our possible best to come up with a maximum three points at the end of the game. Irrespective of the scoreline, we are assuring them we are going to come up with the three points. Let's do a little bit of the lifestyle because I'm thinking now, when, when you guys do this camping and you guys stay here like that, I know you have a fantastic relationship with your sister. Do you miss them that much? Sure. <laughs> Is it that you guys are not, it means you guys are not doing a good job to make him feel good right now. <laughs> You're letting him miss his sister. No, I miss <laughs> them, but I'm doing yeah. my work. So yeah. 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 I need to concentrate wherever that I am. Because hmm. this is where that brings me up. And this is where that also brings me down. And this is where I used to feed them. <laughs> so yes, so whenever I'm here, I need to. It's a focus on them. Yes. Right. I have been to your training grounds a number of times and there's one thing that surprises me that when coach or WO tells me that you're training at two, 
when I get there too, the training has started. What, what, what is this drill? Yeah, this is something they've instilled in us as a professional, not if, just as a footballer, but any work you are in, we know what time means. Mm. Yeah, so if we're starting training at 2, latest 1.40, 1.45, we are on the field doing our personal things before the coaches um, 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 get there. So this is something they've instilled in us and we want to, it's really helped us because we are not always caught one thing. We always have more time ahead of us to do whatever we want to do. So I, I, I want to commend um, um, the management, the technical team for instilling this, thing, this in us and the entire playing body for taking this in good faith and it's really helped us go places. Yeah. What, what, what do you do to the young ones to make them feel that comfortable? Because when I see them in training, they are very comfortable. They are playing yes. with you guys. The young ones, the, the new ones who have joined you, the new guys who have joined you. When you interview them, they're like, oh yeah, everything is fine. The first day I came, you guys met me and everything. What, how, how do you guys go about it? Because when someone moves from Rekum Chelsea to Accra Hearts, and almost on the second day he's bouncing, I, I met some players on the first day when they came and they were very, very comfortable. What is this bond that you guys have? As my brother said, we football, like the football game must, per se, is like a, We are like politicians. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, we are brothers <laughs> of the camera. Of the camera, yeah. yeah so, whether he is in the Kung Chelsea, whatever he is, of the camera, we are very close. Okay. Yeah, so the relationship is already there. Okay. And since you've moved from the club to my club, since the relationship is there, we will continue being friends like brothers. And then yeah. later, like the same thing that you weren't in my club. Mm. So the moment you sign for my club, you come to my club, it wouldn't be something new, like you're a new person because you're already vibe. Yeah. Right? yeah. Cause I feel the vibe. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or if, yeah. if I took football away, would you do Formula One? Because I see your driving skills. Yeah, they call me Formula One driver. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but they call you Formula One driver. Yeah, yeah because see, you drive really, you drive really good. Yes. So yes. do you watch Formula One sometimes? Uh, Jordan, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, are you? Oh, I see you. Okay, bye bye. Nettie, just just to um, you know finish this one and wrap it up, I'm just going to check out. I mean, the connection with your coaches still, still goes on. I remember that goal that uh, Salim scored and everybody, yeah. all of you went up again with your, with your thing. Yeah. Have you guys planned some celebration just in case the goal is scored already? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we have some celebrations. A whole lot of them in the storeroom. Okay. Once the goals start flowing, we are going to change. We are going to bring different ones up. It's quite unfortunate you missed our photo section today. Oh, you yeah. would have, you oh, would so have so many things happening. Yeah, there's so many things oh, happening. We are, yeah. we are not going to spill them out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. once the goals start coming and the victories start coming, you're going to see different types of celebrations we have. Well, Bane, the fans, uh, you say, I should ask you guys, um, they missed the, the, the house training dance. Yeah, you the know. The training dance. <laughs> you know, you when know. you warm up. When you, when you finish warming up, you do this training dance before you go. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, the fans say they miss it. So. Yeah, we know they miss it. But then the last time we had that dance, it didn't go so well for us. That was against Olympics. So we are slowing down. You are slowing down a bit. Yes. Like yes. the Black Stars rejected a black jersey when we lost it. Exactly. The exactly. The last time we did that just dance against Olympics, we lost the game by two goals. So, so yeah. we've, taken a, we've, we've taken a break. Yes. But surely it's going to come back. Yeah. Once we have, we, we feel we have the luck and everything going our way now, we are going to bring it back okay. to them. We also miss doing it for them. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's been very difficult for us to see some of the videos of WAC. Um, so, but I'm sure you know that they are very, <laughs> very tough side, very good side, having won the Cup Champions League in 2017. But I think that you're very confident to do the job and surprise everyone. Sure, what makes us very confident is if we've never won a game in Ghana. We've played, I think, about five or yeah. six games against Kotoko and Nigeria. Yeah, but they've never won. So we too, we are going to continue that. We make sure they'll never have a point in Ghana. So Sunday, we'll see you guys at the uh, Akaspa Stadium. Sure. And, and then they will be praying for you. How is mommy doing though? She's good. She's doing great. Yeah. Yeah. And and has your sister is good. Your sister is good as well. She's very very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. That celebration of yours, we still haven't forgotten. Was it was a With massive celebration? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a planting. The day before the game. 
Wow. That's, that, that's, that's why. That's good. The final bit is that you guys um, gave your coach a fantastic wedding. You, you, you were the best man. Yeah. So how surprised, I mean, how did you take the day? Um, it, was, it, was, it was just one of those normal days for me, you know. The, the, it, man's, the man's wedding was on national television. Like yes, television. yes. It was, it was during... As for him, <laughs> after football, the best man. Best after football, best man. Always. <laughs> when there is no match on Sunday, <laughs> best man. Oh, so yeah. best man. Oh, so you have no best man. No, no, that was. Hundred times. Hundred times. That was, you know, that was the oh, second so time. You have a best man career. Is it? No, no, that was the second time <laughs> within that month. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. I, I actually. You have the experience with oh, being a best man. man. Yeah. Okay. I, within if that month. No, no, I think I'm done. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm, I'm done with that now. I'm done too. That is enough. enough. The next should be me yeah. getting married. So, but it was a great day. Very great day. Correct. <laughs> Did you wear suit that day? But you didn't wear suit. No, no, no. You're no, no, no. the suit guy. The suit guy, but that day everything was okay. The most suit guy. <laughs> 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 it's jamming you plenty. <laughs> it also dress you very well. It, oh, oh, I see. Ah, but you dress them. Oh, <laughs> three or four yeah. of this man. Oh, you did it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I see. Yeah. 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 Are you a school prefect or something when you're in SHS? SHS. I, I, I was sports prefect. No, okay, sports prefect. Sports and then okay. class. And yeah. Class prefect. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no so, wonder. Then I think it's just it's just flowing the way you are. Yeah. You're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, that that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you very on much. Sunday. Thank you very um, much. We hope that Akwa Hearts will get the job done. Sure. And you guys will get the job done sure. against uh, what? Yeah. The whole of Ghana is supporting you. Yeah. Because yeah. when it comes to the Cup Champions League, it's about who is representing Ghana. It's not yeah. about uh, whether has or whichever club. Yeah. So we are all Ghana on Sunday. Sunday. Thank you very much, Imanonete. You're and, welcome. Uh, thank you very much, Vania, for your time. Okay. And that's it. We'll look forward to the game on Sunday and we'll wish them the very best of luck. Thank you.